Hi guys, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. Uh, you can watch this video on my other channel, which I really would appreciate if you would do. I've got a new channel called Gadgets, Goods and Gear, and I'm starting that. Um, I'm going to stop doing this Miscellany Monday series where I review things, electronics, uh, flashlights, uh, all kinds of stuff that's not cutting edge related. I'm going to keep doing that for a while, but eventually I'm going to move all of that over solely to my uh, gadgets, goods, and gear channel. In the meantime, while that other channel is starting to get a good audience and growing and stuff, I'm going to be putting these videos on both. Can I ask you to please go over there and watch it over there? Click on the link right here and it'll get you over there. You can watch that video there. Subscribe to that channel. Um, even if you're not totally interested in it, please do me a favor. Subscribe to that channel. Uh, watch a video or two uh, every month. For, for, you know, I'm not asking you to do it all the time. Um, you know, if you're going to sit down to dinner or something, just set it, let it play first. You take care of your dinner or whatever and just let it play through. Um, I know some people might not think that that's totally honest, but <laughs> it's going to get the channel, have a little bit of a base so that it can get started and grow from there. It's really, really hard to start a channel. So any help you can give me. Now let's get on to the good stuff. Since this video is not visually interesting, why don't you click down in the bottom corner there. There's a little icon that looks like a set of gears. Tell this video to play back at 1.25 speed. If you're a really good listener at 1.5 speed, you'll get all the information through your ears and it'll save you a little bit of time. I'm doing a review of this little mini computer that I've had for a month now. And uh, I've used it extensively, run it hard, and I'd like to tell you a lot about it because I think it's a really good choice to get somebody for Christmas who's looking for a new computer, but they don't have an awful lot of money. And basically they use their computer for getting on the internet, you know, surfing around, doing Facebook, you know, stuff like that. Some online gaming and stuff. Uh, not this first person shooter stuff, not this Star Wars stuff, not that those kind of games, but just some regular online stuff. For something like that, this is a very good choice at a very good price. Okay, the first thing I want to do is let you know that I do have a background in computers. I've been working, I worked in computers for a number of years. Um, I went to school especially for it. This is a cheap little school called Trios in southwestern Ontario. I think they've got, I think they're in a few provinces now. And I, in uh, 2017, there's my name. Yes, you can see my last name now. <laughs> I won the Outstanding Technology Achievement Award, top of my class for that. I've earned an MCSA, that's Microsoft Certified Systems uh, Administrator. So I've got a good training. I've worked for Nokia, doing level two uh, technical support for them. I've worked for Dell. Uh, I worked at a local school division here for in Alberta for six years, and I was doing tech support for them. Uh, running their servers in th three different schools and uh, doing everything down to fixing their laptops and stuff. So all kinds of stuff. I've got some good technology knowledge in this brain. So I'm not just a uh, Joe idiot that says, here, buy this computer because I think it's good. No, I've got some background knowledge here. I know what I'm talking about. And this is the first uh, non-Western brand computer that I've bought in a long time. And I am impressed. Nice and small. And I've uh, seen the small format start come up oh, with the last 12 years or so. And now they're finally getting it done very well. And here's a nice little full-fledged computer. Um, you know, your, your cell phone. If you've got a smartphone, <laughs> you've got a full-fledged computer in there. So this is a full computer in here in a nice little package. So let's talk about all the different specs that we've got in this little thing. So this is the B-Link S1, and I chose it specifically. Um, first off, who can get it? Well, they've got power sources for these for three different areas, three different types of power supply. Europe, UK, uh, North America, anything from 100 volts up to 100 and 240 volts. Uh, we have like 110 around here. Some places have 200, some places have 220, some places have 240. Their adapters that come with it will go for both. Um, my representative at GearBest sent me the wrong one. She sent me the UK one, 
and all I did was buy, this wasn't even $2, this little adapter, I plugged it in, and uh, there's the adapter there, and I taped it on so it'll stay. So this was a UK one, but since it, this will take input anything from 100 to 240 volts, no problem. Put this plug on, and it works just fine. Uh, but you probably want to buy the one that's for your zone anyways. And then you get this little box. So what do we have in here? We've got um, USB port here. That's the C port, the one that you commonly see on some new uh, high-end cell phones and stuff. There's two USB 3 ports. There's They call this a TF port. TF is the first name that they made for micro SD cards. So it's exactly the same thing. TF port, micro SD port, exactly the same thing. So there's a micro SD card here. Uh, I'm not a card uh, reader right there. So you just push in your card. You can leave it in there permanently if you want. Um, I've tested it with 8, 32, 64, and 128 gigabyte cards. Works just fine. Power button. So that's the front. There's the top. Here's the back. What do you got on the back? You've got your power port. Uh, you've got... It used to be called a Kensington lock, so there's a locking system, so you can lock it down if you want to. VGA, HDMI, it does run two monitors at the same time, just fine. Uh, you've got uh, RGA45, that's your Ethernet port, that's all the way up to a 100 megabit port. You've got two USB 2 ports, and then you've got your uh, headphone port right here. You've... Um, well, I've got to double check if that also has a microphone port or not. I'm going to double check and I will let you know right here on the screen if that does a microphone as well. There is a built-in microphone right there. So even if you don't have headphones or anything, you can run Cortana on Windows 10 on here and you can talk to the computer and tell it what to do. It picks up your voice from that microphone right there. Pretty cool. It's got vents all the way around. It's a fanless design, so it's 100% silent. And, well, let's talk about this next. You've got some holes here. Where's my bracket? I forgot my bracket. There's a bracket that you get with the system so that you can mount it on the back of a monitor if you want to, or you can mount it onto a wall, or you can just use these rubberized feet and just set it down somewhere. And finally, you've got this port here. You open it up and you can put in a two and a half inch hard drive in there. That's your standard laptop size hard drive. Uh, I've got a two terabyte hard drive in here right now. So it's built in with a 64 uh, gigabyte uh, chip hard drive really. So it's not an actual disc that spins, it's a chip. Uh, EMMC five uh, hard drive that they have in there. So it's not really a hard drive because it's actually chips. 64 gigabytes built in. You can get it with four or eight gigabytes of a memory of RAM and that's DDR3 so that's really good at uh, 1600 megahertz I think it is yep 1600 megahertz RAM um, the really good thing about having this extra port here is you can put all your data on here if you know how to you can actually change your whole user profile you know how you click on my documents my videos my pictures you can get all of those things automatic not automatically but you can get them put onto your a second drive and then whenever you click on my pictures or you save anything to your pictures or whatever it automatically goes onto the second drive and that way it won't fill up the 64 gigabyte main c drive if you will it's not that hard to do i'll give you some links to some ways on how to do it you can do it on any computer with windows 10. if you like linux hey this thing comes with uh, ubuntu if you want it you can buy it with windows 10 or linux Ubuntu 17.4, I think it is, or is it, yeah, 17.04, right in there. Of course, you can upgrade that anytime you want, or Windows 10, both of those are 64-bit operating systems. So, what do we have inside for a CPU? Well, we've got an Intel N3450 chip, that's your CPU, quad-core, um, you've got an Intel... HD Graphics 500 chip in there. It does HDM 1.4 output. It can do 3D video. Um, the Wi-Fi that's built in, so there's a Wi-Fi card built in, which is dual channel 
you got 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Both of them, A, B, G, N, A, C card does everything. It's an Intel 3165 chip for those of you who are interested in knowing those details. Uh, it's got Bluetooth 4 LTE, I believe it is. That's uh, Bluetooth low energy. And uh, so that's all the specs for this thing. So I've done a lot of talking. There's hardly anything to show you <laughs> because it's just a box. Uh, when you plug it in and use it, you've got everything on your screen. Yes, it is a legitimate Windows 10. You turn, you plug this thing in, you turn it on, and it'll start uh, the setup for you. And it'll ask you to put in your, your um, Microsoft key, your Windows 10 key. Uh, leave it blank. Just like it says in the instructions, there's a little booklet that comes with this and it will say to leave it blank because this thing will call up to Microsoft and automatically activate once it finishes all booting up. So it is a legitimate thing. The key is already built in so you don't have to manually type it in. So it saves you all that. Uh, very easy squeezy and it just works. There's no sense in me plugging this in and showing you a screen because if you have never seen Windows 10, what it looks like on a screen, me showing it to you is not going to impress you at all. And if you're familiar with Windows 10, you're just seeing the same old, same old over again. So Windows 10 Home is what it runs. Uh, it does a really good job. Um, I'm not going to give you the benchmarks for this because no, it's not a performance piece of kit. This thing is designed for somebody who basically goes online and does stuff online. Uh, there's no drive on it. Uh, you can't do CDs or DVDs on it. Like there's no optical drive. Optical discs are going the way of the dodo bird as well anyways. Uh, but basically everything else you want. And I really appreciate that they put a SD card reader right there. You've got plenty of ports. And of course you can put in a USB expansion dock. I've got a, a USB 3 dock that I plug in here that gives me another four ports. So I plug in a bunch of stuff that way and it reads those just fine. Uh, I really like the dual monitors and it's just a rock solid system that makes no noise that does everything that you want it to. The one thing I found is that it doesn't necessarily work that great with uh, if you hook this thing up to a television, you know, a big flat screen television that has HDMI ports, it might not read the right resolution for it and the screen might not be the right size and hard to adapt, but it will definitely work with any monitor. So those two things are different. When you go shopping, uh, you buy a monitor and not just a TV to plug this thing into. Some TVs, it might work just great, but some of them, it might not. So if you already have your TV, I mean, sorry. So if you already have a monitor, all you would need to buy would be a keyboard and a mouse and you're off and running. Uh, it works with wireless mice, especially for their Bluetooth, the wireless keyboard, Bluetooth syncs just fine. Uh, if you buy one of those that has a little dongle with it, you just plug it into the USB dongle and got your wireless keyboard and mouse, which is what I use. I use a wireless Logitech keyboard. I'll show it to you. I'm not advertising for Logitech, but you know this is basically what it is. This is the K400R, so it's been out for several years. But you get your touchpad, so you do all your mouse work here, and you get the keyboard here, and it just works great. So I set this in front of my TV and you know just do what I want, and uh, works great do all kinds of stuff that way. So that's it. Just, I know I've talked on, I've babbled for a while. Um, there you go. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in getting a little computer for somebody, a full, a full fledged computer, but in a small package, then I recommend the B link S one or one of the other B links. I'll put links in the description below. So just below here, if you're watching it on a cell phone, just below on the bottom corner right there, there's a tiny little triangle that's black. Click on that and it'll extend and show you the uh, description section. If you're watching this on a computer, then just above the comment section, below the video, in that space there, you can click on where it says show more and you can see all the text with all the links for, you know, buying this. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for caring about my channel and helping me out by using my links because I get a tiny commission and that helps me out an awful lot. I appreciate it very much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye now.